Hey, what's up, guys? This is Team Hard Life Captain Officer Gucci, and I'm here with a 3,800 pound block of lead. Yes, 3,800 pounds of lead that I need to get down into a smaller form so that way we can actually handle it, you know, getting it into our smelters here. And obviously, putting a 3,800 pound block of lead into a pot is not feasible in the kind of pot situation we have. So, what I got to do is break it down into manageable 20 to 40 pound blocks that we are able to move around and get into the pots when we need them and so forth. So, here we go. This is going to be a pretty interesting video, guys, because a lot of people have always wondered where do weight come from kind of deal and or how do they start out. Well, this is a how it's done video. Here you go, guys. This is what the block looks like. Yes, sir about six foot long and about about a foot thick in the widest portion i think i got a, got a lot of stress on my mind it's a nice day to go yeah i got a line i'm a caller the whole team i also went ahead and time stamped the video so you can get an idea of what it takes to get this going and so forth and yeah look how clean that lead is once that top layer of oxidized lead uh, is removed off of there and it also does to start helping the uh, lead underneath move once you get past that layer and stuff like that so it can actually start melting and as you can tell we do the best we can to catch it in our, our pots there and definitely move them over and get them in where we need them to be for the size that we're looking for and yes sir that's some time there and that's a lot of heat going out of there Alright guys, so right here, you can see the lead falling into those trays and as I'm going along, I'm picking up all the scraps that fall on the side of the big pants, melting them down and getting them in, in there so that way we can, like I said, make more manageable bricks. These ingots that I'm melting down range from 20 pounds to 40 pounds depending on how high I go up in that pan right there. We don't want to go any higher than that because one, it, it's harder for us to get them out of the pan. Two, lifting up heavier bricks like that, you know, to get them into our smelter does make it really hard on the guys and so forth. So definitely want to make it to where it's not that bad, you know what I mean? But it is lead, it is heavy. <laughs>
One of the main things about melting down our own lead is that we also try to get our hands on the cleanest lead possible. However, it's lead. There's no way for us to see inside of it or what was put in there to manufacture these blocks. Sometimes we find blocks of concrete, sometimes we find slabs of steel, sometimes we find big nuts and bolts and washers and just all kinds of things that the companies that manufactured these uh, blocks of ingots to attach them to whatever they wanted to attach them to. They, they would put things in there to make sure everything would hold together, especially when they were uh, trying to put different layers. As you can tell, on this block, you see that bottom layer, there's a line cutting across the, the lead right there. Well, there's another one up further. And you see right at the very top of the lead where it's melted down, there's something starting to show right through there. That's one of the things, we, we're going through this, we have to melt down pretty much every single bit of the lead to get it to where um, it'll fall into these pans right there. And also pulling out all the impurities that are in there and stuff like that. So this is, it's kind of a, you know, uh, oh man, it's hot. You're sitting there and you're melting it down and finding new things in there that you didn't even know were in there and stuff like that. So let's see what we're going to find on this one. I mean, like I said, there's so many things that can go in there and we find them. And there you go. There was a chain and a piece of uh, lead right there. A piece of metal. Some, some kind of metal right there. So uh, we're going to keep melting it down and get all of that out of there because one, I gotta get that, that block totally melted down, and then two, obviously, we can't melt down a chain, so once we melt around it and get it out of there, then we'll continue going. But you can tell it's wired into something up there in the top. Don't know what it is. I don't know if y'all know what's going on, but you can see that I'm moving the chain from left to right trying to keep it out of the pans because um, I don't want it to get stuck in the lead that's falling into the pans because then I'm going to have to melt down the lead inside the pan and that can be really difficult. I end up trashing the pan because so much heat is going into it. Yeah, they can take heat, but direct heat from that torch will just cook those pans and then they won't uh, work the way I need them to work. So it is a real pain in the butt right here of uh, trying to make sure that lead or that chain doesn't get stuck in that melted lead at the bottom and yeah, cause more problems than it already is because right there it's just forcing me to stop doing what I'm doing and make sure to watch it. But there you can see all the different layers that were put into the block of lead, you know, you'll see those lines that go from left to right across the lead, and it's because those are the different layers that were added on, and 
that's how they've got it to stick together the block by putting this chain in there. Well, I'm getting to the end of being able to melt down on this side. Obviously, I don't want to melt over those blocks of steel that are holding the, the lead block up. So I'm going to go ahead and move to the other side. Continue this process, melting it down. One block at a time. 